Welcome back to Sour Grapes Movie Reviews. Today we will watch the recap of Adam Unity. A short movie from 2016. So let's start the show. Welcome back to Story Recap. The movie begins with two large unknown and mysterious figures, walking away from the sunrise with the sound of machines breathing heavily at the background. Then the scene cuts towards a human-shaped machine, called Adam, who is sleeping with his hands and legs locked from both sides. As he wakes up suddenly from his dream, he gets completely surprised to notice how his whole body has transformed into a machine, and also a strange felony code showing on his chest as, after failing to figure out what's happening. Adam tries to break free his hands from the tight locks, but fails. Then automatically the entire system breaks Adam free from its shackles. After falling, Adam breathes heavily, and soon the wires connected with his body start to unplug themselves from him. He immediately looks at his hands, and double-checks his machine form by moving the fingers. To further understand himself, he tears his t-shirt apart to see the skin color of a customized machine instead of a human body. Adam moves forward to have a quick look at his face, and wipes out its moist surface. He gets completely shocked to see his plastic-based face mask, that forces him to get rid of it instantly, by also punching himself. But he fails to do so, as he was determined to achieve his objective. He mistakenly broke his face a little by hitting the ground. However, before he looks at the broken face, the front gate of the room opens towards the light, and Adam without thinking any further, runs toward it in a stumbling manner. The next scene begins with Adam witnessing a large group of humanoid robots like him, with their respective felony codes exiting towards a gigantic open land. Like Adam, the rest of the group is also figuring out what's happening with them. Adam looks back at the exit and witnesses a massive wall with no sign on it. He notices several guards with highly expensive guns, watching over the group from an elevated position on the right side. After noticing the group strolling towards the open land, the guard opens fire at one of them as a warning to keep moving forward. Moreover, suddenly the guard notices the exact mysterious figures coming towards them, which forces them to retreat towards the wall by raising the alarm. When Adam notices them, he feels stunned to realize these unknown figures match precisely with the figures that he saw in his dream. This makes him curious enough to go as close as possible to them and find out who they are. As the unknown figure approaches closer to them, the bigger one analyzes the group from a distance and decides to unlock them from all their bonds through his ultrasonic power. After the unlocking process is over, the group gets attracted to the unknown figures and follows them without question. In comparison, Adam was still confused about following them, but decided to get along with the others after looking back at the wall one last time. The next scene begins with the group following the leader through a harsh and habitable land. The human robot behind Adam starts feeling incapable of moving forward because of being hit by one of the shots fired by the guard at the beginning. After realizing about her weakness, Adam tries his best to support her but fails to do so, as he also got exhausted by walking for hours without rest. By the time, the unknown figure comes in to cure the injured one. Through his ultrasonic powers, it was already too late to save her. Moreover, the leader starts moving forward without looking back, and Adam also followed him the same way. Soon they reach towards their basement, guarded by their beings, and enter inside to take some rest. Later, the leader explains to the curious ones how they ended up in this form, and explains that all of them used to live in the walled city of Consortium which is dominated by humans. Due to their serious crimes, the humans decided to rip them off of their bodies and installed their brains in today's humanoid robots. They cannot remember anything because humans intentionally erased all the memories of their minds. Moreover, as their brain gets filled with criminal intentions, is of no use to the humans. They install them in these humanoid robots, without telling anyone why they want to keep them alive. Concerning their body parts, they are used for helping others living in the consortium. He also told them that he unlocked them because they could have lost in the open land and could have died by draining their batteries in a day. Soon, the leader introduces them to a mysterious figure standing inside the room, called the Mirror, and tells them that she has supernatural powers of identifying what crimes were committed by you when you were living in the consortium. While other humanoid robots were asking about the Mirror from their leader, she curiously walked directly towards Adam and started explaining him about the crimes committed by him. In the consortium with her supernatural powers, she finds out that Adam has committed a serious crime of treason and terrorism under Articles 1A and 11B of the Consortium Criminal Code and also a terrorist attack at the Tacoma Walled City. After listening about these crimes, the leader surprisingly walks towards Adam and looks at him with investigative eyes. The next scene begins with an abandoned land and building far away from the consortium. 
where a group of humans is trying to develop their independent city with greenery and vegetation. The master of this city walks towards the entrance gate to meet a woman seeking asylum at their place, to leave the consortium forever. The master asks about her name, who declares herself as Marion, and shows her the surroundings to prove how they have lived without wearing oxygen masks. He also asks her why she's seeking asylum here, and what happened to her face. She explains an issue with their oxygen masks. While living in the consortium, her only brother Jacob tried to steal some of the medical equipment to save her but got expelled from the consortium in the form of humanoid robots for committing a serious crime. As her condition worsened, she explained why she came here, because of the rumor that he could cure anyone's face and help them breathe without the oxygen mask. The master tells Marion that we only believe in living peacefully without a single technology tool, and in order to be sure about her loyalty towards this independent city, the master picks up the stone and requests Marion to promise him that she will focus on destroying all the consortium's technological methods and live like the ancient ways of living they are creating here. The master also tells Marion that killing a human being enslaved inside a machine is better than letting him suffocate every day. Marion begs the master that she would do anything to make him believe that she is loyal to his belief system. As a result, the master tells Marion to kill this humanoid robot to prove her loyalty to him. However, surprisingly this humanoid robot turns out to be her only brother Jacob expelled from the consortium for committing a serious crime, being shocked to see her brother enslaved. In robotic form in front of her, Marion somehow manages to gather all her strength and kills her brother with the rock to prove her loyalty to the master, but cries after killing her brother. Having satisfied with Marion's actions, the master picks up Marion and starts channeling his supernatural powers to cure Marion's face and makes her get rid of oxygen masks forever by curing her. In the end, the master heads towards his chamber by checking that no one is following him, and as he walks towards a giant machine at the center, by opening his arms, it turns out that he is also a humanoid robot, like everyone else. So what do you think about this movie? Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the movie recap. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And as always stay blessed and may the force be with you.